Do you know about the favorites list inside of Salesforce? So I'm going to show you how to access favorites and you can click on the down arrow here in Salesforce and see that we have no favorites in this particular instance. But if you want to favorite a specific page in Salesforce, you just click the star icon. We can't select a home tab, but if you go into a particular screen that does support being added as a favorite, then this star will become active and you can select to add it as a favorite in Salesforce. And then the toast message appears saying that that particular screen has been added as a favorite. You can go into specific records as well and make that a favorite. And then these favorites that you create will appear then in the drop down in your favorites list. So you can quickly access records or pages that you've added to your favorites list. And this is kind of a more Salesforce specific way of bookmarking things short of making a bookmark in your browser. So if you want to just keep all of your Salesforce related things inside of favorites instead of bookmark, you can do that and then as well please note in setup if I go into the setup menu and go into a specific page inside of setup for example the users page even down to a specific page you're not able to add favorites there so as far as I know favorites are only available for end users not on the back end and inside the setup menu and I'm just going to click through and verify that by clicking on several different links here inside of setup and it looks like none of them uh, support the ability to add to favorites so this is more of a use case and concern for Salesforce end users compared to Salesforce administrators on the back end. So from the front end, when you have an application open, and if you're not on the home page of the application, but a specific tab, and once you've navigated to a certain page that you want to add as favorites, some of these are supported, some of these are not. And then you can edit your favorites as well. You can remove these by clicking X as well and confirm. So if you found this Salesforce tutorial helpful, please do like, subscribe, also leave a comment down below for what you would like to learn in Salesforce and I might make it my next Salesforce video and until then I'll see you in the cloud.